We started the experiential design project and the design cycle by researching different problems that exist in our community. We chose to focus on the excessive amounts of trash being generated at ISK and the lack of recycling. The initial challenge we tried to address was was paper waste and deforestation. Through our research we found out that charcoal production was one of the leading causes of deforestation in Kenya. After a lot of research into possible solutions we settled on creating charcoal briquettes out of waste paper. In order to accomplish this we had to build a paper shredder, a machine to mulch and soak the paper, a compressor to create the briquettes, and a way to dry them. We created several prototypes of the machines and managed to create some briquettes but we eventually abandoned the project because the production method was too time consuming to be economically viable. That project failed, we decided to stick to recycling. We took a machine previously made by the Construction by Design Club that shredded plastic and turned it into new products. We made molds to put into that machine. So after we decided to get rid of our paper bouquet idea because we realized it just wasn't going to work, we split up into different groups and we did some research on what we could do with um, different pieces of plastic. So after we did some research, we were like, oh, we can make coasters, um, pencil holders, um, keychains, all with HDP plastic. Mm -hmm. So after we came up with a bunch of different ideas, we voted on which idea was the best and which ideas would probably not work out. Using Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop, we digitally designed different household accessories such as keychains, coasters, and even little bowls. We started out the act stage of the design cycle by coming up with a budget to include materials needed for the creation of the molds. Before being able to create any products we needed to shred, clean and dry the discarded plastic. We then created steel molds to shape the plastic into new shapes using a heated compressor. Once shredded, the plastic was poured into a steel mold where it was then compressed into products such as bowls or solid plastic sheets which can in turn be machined using the fabrication lab's CNC equipment. In addition to plastic, we also experimented with aluminium recycling. In order to recycle aluminium soda cans were melted in the furnace in a steel crucible. Once they were melted down to a fluid we scooped out the impurities. A foam cut out of the required shape for the object is submerged into sand and the molten aluminium is poured into it. The aluminium vaporizes the foam and takes its place. This is how we created the recycled aluminium products.